I am Dr. Charles Apoki. I'm reaching you from Petra, the permanent site of Petra Institute, Efunroto. The long journey has reached another stage. We brought the first set of um, the first trip of granite. More are coming on the way for laying the towards laying the foundation of Petra Institute. You see, every dream, every decision will have some factors that I will enumerate in this message. And I've been using Ruth as my character study. And I said the theme of the subject matter is aspire, don't expire. I said in the earlier broadcast that Ruth made a decision to go with Naomi to Moab, to Bethlehem, when she heard that bread has come to the house of bread. I told you about making decisions in very contradictory circumstances. Ruth made the right decision based on information, based on inspiration. But you see, and the Bible says, and Ruth and Naomi journeyed until they got to Bethlehem. That journey is between five days to seven days. Five days to seven days. So there's a distance of 50 miles. And usually it took about five days to seven days. And you will cross the river Jordan, you will cross the river Anon. And then when they got to Bethlehem, the whole city was in turmoil. They said, can this be Naomi? Naomi said, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara, which means bitterness. Naomi means sweetness. Say, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara. So, but they got there during the barley harvest. What lessons can we learn? Lesson number one, every decision will be questioned by the following Ds. It will be questioned by distance. It will be questioned by duration, doubt disturbances as i'm recording now several things have passed it will be questioned by danger and uh, one other day i can't remember so the decision to open petra institute was taken about eight years back that's taking duration when you read in the bible and they journeyed from moab to bethlehem it took them five to seven days it took them a distance of 50 miles you see when you refuse to be discouraged by the distance, by the duration, by danger, by distress, and you refuse to doubt your decision, eventually you will get to Bethlehem. When they got to Bethlehem, there was something happening, something happening. They got there in the barley harvest. Harvest will include the following. Number one, harvesting. Number two, binding. Number three, transportation. Number four, um, sharing, number five, threshing, number six, bagging, number seven, sales. But there is one number that does not belong to the owner. It belongs to the stranger, the poor, the widow, and the hungry. That was the portion of um, Ruth gleaning. It's a provision by God for somebody who is poor, somebody who is a stranger, somebody who is a widow. Now, Ruth plugged into that provision gleaning. In every distress, in every decision, in every doubt, in every circumstance, there is something that is happening. It was barley that was used to make bread then. And she came in at that time and plugged to the bottom of, this, of the events, but eventually got to the top. Now, there are so many things happening. Information technology, agriculture, several things. It was during the NSAS project that I plugged into these short lectures. And it has blossomed. So um, I'm, uh, I'm not discouraged. I'm starting with this heap. I'm going to get more granite within next week. Two other trips are coming. And I'm going to lay a foundation there within the month of February. And I believe God, within a short while, we will start growing. Don't be discouraged. There is a future. There is something waiting for you. There is a harvest waiting for you. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Please help share this post. God bless you.